Bucks is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. And I hope that it's the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my uh returning subs, my own extended beautiful family. Just you know, pay attention to the signs that are coming. It's just so many things that I feel like a lot of us are coming into our power, our self-confidence, our knowledge. And just more and more beautiful gifts are yet to come. And so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and hit you towards positive direction also um, if you are you know feel like the videos are giving you good vibes or even good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath they're going through some trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um my meditation music i'm using in the background is so peaceful to me um it's called all seven chakras embody yourself your higher self inner peace music for healing relaxing mind body and soul and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is uh twin flame 101 hey okas intense or dark situations can reflect what you need to know about yourself to help you on your on your journey it will you know you can have conflict with uh like narcissistic people or you can have misinterpretation you know things are misconstrued a lot of times when we go through these retrogrades and all these things there's a lot of times it could be misinformation people working on each other's nerves you know the full moon comes people start clashing you're being bullied or you're bullying somebody else you cussing somebody else at least i know with me that wouldn't be surprised a lot oh that's what it was i knew i was feeling the fire up under my butt for a reason but it's like a lot of times it's like even for my incident today i had an issue that came up today and it, it really, you know, it didn't even really ruffle my feathers. It's just me speaking truth, me reflecting or whatever, you know, what a person was doing or whatever like that. And it allowed me to like ignite that power within myself, not the fact of, you know, pushing someone's buttons or just telling the, you know, just telling the truth, reflecting, you know, what was what their truth is and it really allowed me to really see things for what it truly was in my life knowing that certain things you know when you're heading towards blessings things are coming out your way I even notice it when I do certain videos I notice when I talk about anything that's like blessings are coming your way there's always somebody want to push it down the down uh, thumb and I'm just like you know what when you, you, you got to come all the way out in my my reflection on my life what I'm pushing out is really disrupting your inner peace. There's something personally wrong with you. You know, I you know, I look at stuff like that and I you know, I gotta just shake my head. It's just like when people gotta go all the way out their way just to be that one person who has to be annoying like that. I'm just like I pray for you. <laughs> I said, God bless you. You know, it, but it's okay. You know, stuff like that, you know, motivates me, you know, pushes me to do you know more things is positive in my life the things you know i love what i do i love to be able to help people i love doing my videos it helps a lot of you know for me it's like an outlet for me being able to do that because it's just like certain things will be placed in your life to be that distraction you know all of us have it especially when you know you're coming close to your blessings the darkness will sit up here and allow certain things to trigger you or it will be throwing stuff in there just to see if you'll get triggered even universe put you know push stuff in your life just to see if you're gonna pass that test and it was like I, I kind of flunked but I passed at the same time because I allowed it to say okay it's over it's done with I vented about it I'm good but then it allowed me to say you know what you more powerful than you than you expected you you're more powerful than you know you're you know I took myself back
and really looked at everything in all directions and i was like damn i didn't understand that but i seen point a point b and point c and i'm so good it opened my heart my mind towards things i i didn't even think i would be able to put together and it is just like when you're on this journey there's so many things that you're gonna learn from whether it's a negative impact or a positive one a loving one you know it can be something that's very sentimental i know a lot of things are affecting me in a good way as well as bad you know i you know i love watching my different shows um on youtube i'm not really a tv person but there are certain reality shows i like to watch you know that really entertains me it's like on sundays and mondays other than that you know from tuesdays until saturdays i you know i'm a youtube girl and there's like a lot of things like i tell i think i told y'all about that i love watching crime daily you know and it's just it's certain things be ruffling up my feathers and you know i put prayers out for the families i know there's certain things that you know i see and i know there are certain things you know universe like you need to stop watching that that's going to put a negative vibe on you will lower your frequency but I, I don't know why i've always been that type of person it watched the first 48 ncis svu law and order um and crimes daily i love watching stuff like that because it allows you to see things you know i used to always be curious about how the mind works and stuff like that and i always wanted to be a you know a medical profiler or even a crime profiler but it's just you know there are certain things you just can't unsee and i'm not trying to have that in my life but it's just like a lot of things that I've been going through, you know, it can be annoying to me, but then it's just like when I strip straight sit back and I say it's all the lesson of life. You have to learn to not allow people's ignorance or their insecurities, you know, affect you in any kind of way. Um, a lot of times you, you know, it can, there things around you can make you like aggravated, like, if you know you're working hard towards things and you constantly see other people getting blessings but you're still stuck where you are don't feel ashamed don't feel aggravated i know there's times you know in our human form we get that way like okay when is my blessing gonna come i mean i'm happy for these people but when is mine coming and i've seen so many people successful youtubers say the same thing and it's like you know what they they were that person exactly where you were you know wishing that things like this happen you know and i'm a youtuber myself you know but i give praises to people i praise their blessings because that's like me praising my own i will never deny nobody happiness because i feel like everybody should have it you know even though there's sometimes people don't wish that for me they pray for my downfall and i still pray for them you know for all these different things but it allows me to know the power and the confidence in myself you know there's times that you know somebody rubbed me the wrong way and said you know something about me in my videos or whatever and it kind of you know but i said okay you can tell when somebody you know if somebody's being condescending that's when it works my nerve but then it's at that point now i'm at my point in my life where that doesn't even bother me sometimes people insecurities they, they will put it in their comments and i is now to that point where i can feel it you know when somebody's really being from the heart and trying to give me that corrective criticism i love that you know that's fine you know um but it's just things that you know i've had to see a journey in my life there's people that rooted for me there's people i intimidated there's you know there's people that's close to me i intimidate you know that want to put darkness in my my life or you know try to pray for downfall or try to make sure i get a downfall and i still pray for them you know i, I don't wish nothing bad on nobody you know but it, these situations that i've been placed upon you know it's really took me in a place but I've learned so much from it because I was that type of person that worried about what people thought about me, cared about what people, you know, said about me. Um, how did people look at me? All those different things. I had to look for validation with other people about myself, even though I was a following. It, it was like I was opposite, but it was, you know, I, I was that person, but I always, always followed the beat of my own drum. I didn't go do something like i was in school people are like oh don't like her she's this and that i'm like uh they didn't do anything to me so why should i not like them again i said look whatever you got going on ain't got nothing to do with me <laughs> you know i used to be that type of person they used to get mad at me because i would not follow suit i've never been that type of person but i also needed validation just because the way i was brought up because i always felt like i wasn't good enough you know um like I said, I don't know what happened yet the other day, but ever since that situation of me being able to see that what I went through in my relationship, the 
you know, for 20 some years and what I went through with my adopted father really opened up doors for me. It really allowed me to see things at so many different angles. And, you know, incidents will come into my life where I'll bump heads with people and say how I truly feel. And, you know, it, it was just like, you know, it allowed me to see things for what they truly are and I can actually be able to appreciate that and be real about it you know and it's a blessing to be able to go through hardship at times because it allows you to see what what kind of strengths you have when you have strength and strength enough alone to rely on that is truly a blessing because it allows you to see yourself at your lowest point and still know even though you're in a dark situation it allows you to know the light is still always around that corner it might me be you know five streets down the corner or it might be the next street around the corner but you always know it's there you know it allowed me to give faith within myself and faith in the universe that things are going to be happening for me when I least expect it it's like whatever no I don't give a damn about what people pray on me or what they think about my life or down you know you know try to downplay the things that I do or you know wish that these things weren't happening you know, I still, when God says yes, it don't matter what anybody else says about you. Because it's like right now, I am focused on what I need to do. I'm focusing on better, better in my life, you know, my, my children's life, you know, things like that. And, you know, I've made videos about it. When you're so focused on you and what you're doing, you might, you might peg the people. You already know that it's trying to throw salt in your game. You already see that. Because they always let you know, you know, universe always allows you to see who your opponent is for you to have to deal with and it's just like those are the ones you need to aim for even the ones that you know that used to and they brought you back in your life for a reason you know but allow these journeys that you have been placed in and really you know you know when you're not in your emotions about certain things because they can get really stressful and you you know you be you no know, telling how you <laughs> you get affected by certain stressful situations but allow yourself to truly see what it is like there's some times, like I tell people, and that's going to be my next content, certain times we are put in situations, not to change it before it allow us to be able to change us. You know, we're not supposed to change it. There's a lot of things that is our Achilles, you know, our weaknesses, what, you know, you might not have faith in enough in yourself. You not have, may not have faith in God or universe. Uh, certain situations will place you into where you have to be able to believe within yourself that you'll be able to make it out of there. And you have what you have instilled in you to be able to know that. All these different things that you need to know, but it's just allow these things to be able to take note along the journey that you're you're going through because it's going to help you a long way you know only you have the power to stop you only you got the power to make yourself fail you know even though people try to throw salt on your game that don't mean you need to stop your flow and it's just like that was my situation are you gonna let one situation this little petty ass situation stop you from doing what you do heck no i'ma still be me and you know, next day i'ma still be the same person too so it's just like all these different things are going about your life and it allows you to learn so many things on so many levels that is just been placed in your life. Just, you know, it's like we're going through a gauntlet and you, you have a part to play. You know, you get these stressful situations. You're stuck in one situation. You're trying so desperately to get out of it, but you do have that power to get out of it. You just have to keep doing what you're doing. Focus on what you're aiming for. Don't allow those things to become a distraction. Anything that's negative that comes in your life anytime somebody wants to downplay what you do or just downplay you period is a distraction you know and i said i'm not gonna allow my distraction stop me so i hope you are able to uh resonate with the content of my video and um you know let me know if you resonate with this or even give me your feedback is greatly appreciated give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit if you have not subscribed please subscribe and go ahead and hit the bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days i would love to give a big ups to miss mickey morgan um who else uh lisa mcdevitt uh who else did i just have uh nikia howard how uh howell and deja uh waitley much love to you and i will see you on my next video y'all have a blessed safe week well sunday and have a blessed safe prosperous week and i'll see you on my next video much love peace